How we doing, the guys? Dimes HG here, and today Portugal coach Fernando Santos faces the sack after his Cristiano Ronaldo debacle. I'm gonna get into it. Like button, comment, and subscribe. Fernando Santos faces the sack after his um, episode in the Portugal national team as a coach after he put Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench after Gonzalo, after that Gonzalo Ramos guy scored a hat trick. He's been going through it so. Um, Fernando Santos faces the sack. He put Ronaldo on the bench and. They put him in the sack. They sacked him. So um, every national team coach is getting sacked at the moment. You got an AK in Spain. You got um, the African coaches getting sacked. Everybody's getting potted at the moment. So um, I'm not really that surprised. Portugal coach Fernando Santos has been sacked with immediate effect. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Will Ronaldo push the 2026 World Cup? Um, I think he will. Um, I think they're going to get a coach that is going to play Ronaldo. Because I think them sitting Ronaldo on the bench, um, maybe it was an outside source that did that. I don't think Santos wanted to do that. But at the end of the day, Cristiano Ronaldo was put on the bench um, in front of millions of people. And the big draw was on Cristiano Ronaldo. He wasn't even playing. He was on the bench. And if you've seen some of the pictures, there was actually you know a bunch of photographers taking pictures of Ronaldo. They had the cameras all on him. He's not even playing. He's on the bench. And they're still following him around. Um, he was spotted at the Real Madrid training complex, training in a happy mood. Um, he is away from Manchester United. He has since had his contract terminated by Manchester United just a few weeks ago. So now that he is terminated, he's free. He's looking for a new chapter in his life, in his journey as a professional footballer. Um, he looks more in a happy state, which, I mean, once you're free from the shackles um, of Manchester United, I guess that will happen. So, um yeah, man, this thing with the Portugal coach getting sacked, I'm not really that surprised. Um, this was always going to come if Portugal did not win the World Cup. They were going to get rid of him probably anyway. Um, Fernando Santos has been sacked as head coach of Portugal. Source Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano is a very good journalist in the footballing world. So that doesn't really surprise me. But who do you guys think is going to be the next manager? I've heard Jose Mourinho. Um, they could bring in... Um, 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 they could bring a non-Portuguese person in, like maybe Thomas Tuchel or someone else, or um, they could bring Pochettino in. I mean, all these managers, like Fernando Santos, right, he may end up at another international team because, like I said, they're in a bubble. Um, they're in a big bubble, and honestly, coaches can go from team to team to team to team. That That's just how it is, and I think it's like that in other sports, too, because they like to keep things in-house when it comes to um, sports teams and stuff like that. They don't really like to explore out. Unless, um, maybe you're, uh, um, I don't know, maybe you're, like, a little bit seasoned. Like, if you notice, look at this guy. He's super old. He's probably in his 50s to 60s. And he's seasoned already. He's seen it all. He's been through the ups and downs, the struggles, the trials, the turns. They're not really going to hire a, a 25 or 30-year-old. They haven't really had that experience. They haven't really got punched in the face in life. When you're 50, 60, you've had that experience. You, you're seasoned. You're over halfway through life. So... It makes sense. He will probably end up at another international team, or he could go to a club team. Um, there's rumors of Jose Mourinho could be the um, international coach of Portugal, which does kind of make sense. But at the moment, he's doing pretty good with Roma, so I don't really see why he would leave Roma to go port to go porch to go coach Portugal. Um, but this was always going to happen when you sit a superstar like Cristiano Ronaldo down on the bench like like that right there. Um, this was always going to happen, to be honest. It's, doesn't really surprise me at all. And it has come with immediate effect. They waste no time. They waste no time. The World Cup's not even over yet. And they have sacked Portugal manager Fernando Santos with immediate effect. So it is what it is, man. Um, once again, there's so much stuff going on right now um, with this World Cup at the moment. So this right here doesn't really surprise me. Um, Portugal fell short. They definitely should have went further in the World Cup. And they didn't meet up to expectations that they should have. And the manager has been sacked with immediate effect. So it just shows, man, these coaches, these managers, um, when when stuff hits the fan, when things hit the fan, they have to be the ones that take that dive. And that and that's the curse of being a manager. Um, the blessing is that you run everything on a day-to-day -day basis. You do all the coaching. You do all the stuff. But the curse is that when stuff hits the fan... The owners above you are not going to take the blame. It's going to be you taking the heat because you're the one coaching the team. You're the one motivating the players. You're the one who has to deal with all that stuff, and that's what they thats what they pay the big bucks for. That's what they pay you the big money for to take that dive, to take that fall, and that's just how life is. So let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys think the next Portuguese coach will be. 
Um, it could be this guy. Um, oh no, that's that's Fernando Santos. My fault. That was him when he was probably a little bit younger. I'm telling you, man, this this guy looks rough aged. Um, it could be Jose Mourinho. Um, it could be anyone else. Who knows, man? We will see. So. Let me know down below in the comment section who you think the next Portugal coach will be. It's going to be very, very interesting to see. And yeah, guys, it's me and Diamond to see you guys, and I'm out. Have a good night. Peace.